I'm using the same problem that we've used before, but I want to show you something different um, using just the same information. Sometimes in a short problem, they will give you beginning balance and plan assets, contribution benefits, and then will ask um, what the actual return on assets was. You don't need to be scared, you don't need to memorize any kind of formulas, but you do need to apply your common sense and basic understanding of what's going on. If I do know what my plan assets started with, here's your beginning balance. I do know that they brought some kind of return. I'm going to put X by that. We also had contribution that will increase your balance. You need to subtract your credit balance. Why? Because you paid some benefits. It should yield you beginning balance at the end of the year. So here is your equation if you were to solve down like a crossword puzzle. You start with 4, 10, plus your x. Mind that x could be negative, a negative return, plus 97, uh, minus 31,500. Sorry, I didn't realize there was a 500 in there, so I started doing it in thousands. Equals 5, 11, and 500. Now, if you solve for x, which is an easy thing to do from here, you should get $36,000 as your actual return. Sometimes they do roughly the same thing with projected benefit obligation where they give you all the data and they do give you the ending balance in PBO and they will say can you tell me what was the change in actuarial assumption so you will be solving for this number you won't know that X but the logic behind it the same thing as solving for the actual return on plan assets so good luck with this one